Hey, 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 folks. How are you all doing? Welcome to the Colors of Magic. And today I am looking at my first year in magic, just celebrating it. So, just over a year ago, I went to this, this little gaming event. And someone sat me down with a welcome deck and I played my first game of magic. And it didn't impress me that much. I mean, 30 cards instead of the normal 60 for a start just doesn't lend itself to the richness of the, the full magic experience. 8 to 12 lands, 18 non lands, no great synergy. But what did impress me was the people I met. The people were enough to take me back and give magic another chance. So the next night, I was off to the Unseen Shop. This is a local game store that has become my second home. The staff are amazing. The people who play there are incredible. And not just the Magic players, but in other games as well. But of course, my focus is on Magic. So, I sat down and I played my very first game. It's an F and M. And in that very first game, I faced not one, not two, but three. The only possessions out in the battlefield, and suddenly 24 1 1 vampire toads with life. Like, holy crap. That was terrifying and exhilarating. It made me realize that there was way more to magic than you saw in that welcome deck. So the addiction started. And I have lost games horribly. I've made terrible mistakes. I've won wonderful games. I have made very sweet plays. And all with wonderful people. If and in Friday Night Magic is at the center of Magic Gathering. It is where the community meets, it's where its heart is, and it is the pulse that keeps people coming back, creating new decks and playing. And then, just recently, I experienced my first rotation. Favorite cards left. Bermat, Curious, Soul Star Mage, Glorybringer. I had so much fun with Glorybringer. Fatal Push and Chandra, Torture Defiance that I absolutely loved. The Chandra that keeps on giving. And some cards rotated out that I absolutely hated playing against, like Scarab God. But energy as well. I had a Pamela, I had a Pamela once, that pumped her dungeon train to eight and flung its opponent. If you fling, you sacrifice a creature and deal damage equal to its power directly to an opponent. Overkill? Sure. But often you get a chance to do 100, over 100 damage with, with one creature. So then they happened, but new cards came in as well. The Johnny's Pride made Iron Eyes. Sarkis Unsealing, Chromatic Lantern. And so many other new ones. You look at the last Pro Tour, Boros Aggro decks that's red and white, were five of the top eight decks. There was a Golgari in there, I can't remember the others. But yeah, five of the top eight. So, how do we now create our decks? How do we play? What do we look for? Exciting time looking as the meta changes. Words I didn't know before, like Jun, Jeskai, Orzov, Brixis, have all become part of my lexicon. Names I didn't know before, like Goblin Chain Willow, Huey Jensen, Tulare Community College, are all part of my vocabulary now. And words like Mulligan, Commander, and Tact have new meanings. Just over a year ago, I went to a game event, and that game event made my life far richer. It has been a year for which I have been really, really grateful. 
Just a note, next week um, I'm going to be starting a series on five color defining cards. One video for each color, and next week will be five cards red. And thank you very much for visiting. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. And may the cards fall your way. Cheers.